we want to test just snapshot and snapshot's going to give us some interesting features. First of all, one of the things that we want to prove the usefulness of Jest is with the coverage report that comes out. So it looks like we need to use coverage, dash dash coverage, when we run Jest. We can put that right here. And now when we run npm test, we will get with coverage a report. It'll tell us what lines are not covered. It'll tell us the percentage of lines. It looks like on phone we have 90%. It looks like all we have to do is run two, two match snapshot. This is what it's going to look like. It just basically takes a snapshot of the markup. I'd be able to get 100% test coverage just by testing the main render output, but it is not a direct replacement. And most components or most modules of code do not only deal with rendering. There's some other other functions, other true functions behind the scenes that would be much better suited for unit testing. Let's give it a try. Jess is still running down here. We get one snapshot written. Let's take a look at what the snapshot looks like. It looks like over here on the left hand side, it's Jest has written a folder and we've got this phone.js.snap. And it looks like it rendered that div very carefully. So there's a snapshot of what that looked like. Let's see what happens if we make a change and do the snapshot again. We get a really clear, extremely wonderful to read output saying that we had a test fail in the phone.js. It's the phone renders correctly test. The value is not uh, matching in the snapshot. Let's see if we can fix that. So we have watch usage W to show more. Now we have this interactive and we can update failing snapshots. Press U, just quickly update them. There we go. Now it's updated. Pretty cool. We'll get into more maybe of the theory of why it's good or why it's not in the next video.